hey there uh, welcome back uh, so this time uh, we're gonna build a one more project called a diagram flow as you're seeing on the screen so we will try to uh, generate uh, know, diagram flows you know it can be a mind maps you know flow charts a, a class diagrams or these stuffs okay so this are the things that we will try so flow chart mind map timeline user journey entity relationship uh, sequence diagram state diagrams okay so this is a very simple application just a f1 page and no database involved and this stuff just uh, given a scenario it will help us to generate uh, a particular uh, diagram that we have selected okay so now i have selected flow chart so let me uh, type you know something like you know google meet and try to generate it okay so there is an issue let's uh, try this fine uh, so yeah you see uh, this is how it will help us to uh, generate a mind map I, I think there was some issue with uh, flowchart have a look into that and uh, so uh, like this mind maps and uh, if you see the uh, timelines now if I click on generate yeah uh, so it, it gives us the timeline of a google docs uh, developed and I don't know what was the uh, milestones in their development and all so uh, this was launched on this year and uh, spreadsheets was launched and then uh, this type of um, something like related to google docs and all okay so similarly if you see the other things you know uh, and try to generate it so if you see the user journey as well you know uh, you can see launching uh, google docs and writing document uh, sharing and collaboration finalizing so you see the how the user can uh, flow through that application respective so it's a good uh, way of to generate uh, diagrams and there is an option to export and uh, so there is an option to export as well okay and if you see uh, the other thing now so let's go with the entity relationship yeah if you see user dog a simple class diagram you know yeah it might not give you the uh, exactly the way you wanted but it just helps us to generate a gist of the flow whatever you ask about and uh, if you see the uh, sequence diagram so I'm just trying to showcase you the uh, example for each scenario okay so sequence also uh, user wants to document then uh, what is the opening writing and this is how we draw sequence diagrams when we are designing some uh, system right so I mean yeah uh, so if I click on state diagram yeah even state diagram it's quite not the uh, exactly what we wanted but it's able to generate okay so this is the uh, simple application just i wanted to showcase and how can we generate and uh, not just the text but also the diagram flows that we wanted so that is the attempt of this project so let's uh, get started in the next video onwards and we have an option to export as well okay so uh, just let me uh, refresh this and uh, try to uh, showcase one more example okay there is an issue let's try okay so you see here uh, this is the user user journey of that and if i click on this export so you can export in the form of the uh, marmite code as well as the svg i'll tell uh, I'm, i'll just walk you through what we are using to achieve this functionality okay and uh, if i just click on svg i am uh, downloading this as svg and if i open it so this is how the svg is okay so we'll be able to download it, it as a svg as well as a copy uh, marmite code okay so now coming down to the thing that we are using to accomplish this is uh, 
yeah so for uh, just uh, building a simple uh, one page application and uh, we are using next.js and for styling tailwind css so which are both trending and uh, to generate uh, this i'm using openai uh, to generate the thing so how are we able to achieve uh, this diagram says here yeah, there is a, a beautiful uh, tool called you know mermaid okay this is a, a kind of a diagrams uh, you know this lets us create diagrams and visualization with just the text and code so this is the thing that we are using inside to uh, generate the way diagrams we wanted so thing is we are just uh, taking uh, the template so let's say like we wanted to have a user journey so this is the templates that we are feeding as one as an example to our uh, openai completion uh, api and uh, helping us to generate the uh, code exactly like this uh, in the in the mermaid and in uh, and indirectly we're using mermaid uh, library which reads the mermaid uh, code and uh, helps us generate the diagrams and that is what that is how we are trying to display on the screen okay so this is the breakdown of the technology that we're using next.js for uh, building the website and the tailwind css for styling and uh, open ai api key and uh, the uh, mermaid uh, library you know to uh, try to render diagrams on the screen okay and yeah this is the simple and effective way and just not only to generate text but also how to generate diagrams this is an attempt for that okay so let's uh, start building uh, from the uh, next video onwards and if you see here uh, this is like you no know, this is how uh, i try to feed in uh, take a templates of like for mind map and uh, this is the templates okay uh, and also i forgot to mention so these templates we are passing to the lang chain okay so that is like a, a li popular uh, library you know which helps us deal with the large language models so we are taking a, a templates for each of flow chart sequence diagram class diagram state diagram entity relationship uh, diagram user uh, journey okay these are the uh, five to six uh, templates that we'll be using and passing it to the lang chain and use the open ai uh, key to generate the diagrams okay so this is going to be uh, very effective though i i would say very small okay but uh, helps us now how do we think to generate the things that is needed for us okay yeah so let's get started with the uh, building in the next video onwards thank you so much